My name is Dr. Charisse Dupree, and my job with Fisheries and Oceans Canada is to explore the deep sea off British Columbia. A seamount is an ancient underwater volcanic mountain. You could think of a seamount as a ramp that pushes water up. Water that's from the deep, it's nutrient rich, and because of the shape of the seamount, it's forced up its slopes to the surface where some mixing and a little bit of sunlight is just the right recipe to create um, this bloom of life. These little animals, uh, plankton, accumulate. And then that life goes about its business in the surface waters and eventually it turns into particles and it all kind of just rains down from the surface and that raining down we call it marine snow it falls out onto the animals that live on the seamount and that's where they get all their nourishment from the surface waters from the productivity that happens there because of the shape of the seamount and their interaction with the water around it the amount of life that we see on a seamount really depends at what depth we're looking at. When we descend in these submersibles, it's black, 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 and then suddenly we turn on the lights into this world that has never seen light before, and bam, it's right there. And so it's actually really cool that we start at the bottom of these seamounts, and we almost like climb our way to the top using a robot every time. So we, we summit the seamount. And so when you're down deep, kilometers down, you might not see that much cover, but what that means is you get to see the lava tubes and uh, these big pillows of basaltic lava. And then as you climb up the seamount and you get closer to the, the surface water, maybe you go through a garden of glass sponges and then it'll transition to a forest of red tree corals and then it'll transition to a living mat of, of sea stars. And so it's kind of like a layered cake um, that you get to experience as you climb up to the top of it. It's always fun to see the truly quirky animals down there. They look a little bit like our shallow water animals, but they're the deep sea cousins. Some of my favorites are uh, the deep sea octopus, the Dumbo octopus, a cute little purple octopus with tiny little stubby arms. Another one is the sea pig, which is actually a sea cucumber with legs. Even though it might not feel like it, seamounts are important to your life. They're a stopping ground for transient animals, whales, shark, tuna, salmon, all these animals that go out to sea into what is usually this desert-like blue area with very little food. They come across these seamounts and there's a buffet of food for them. Studying seamounts is so important, especially now. We've, we've started to go into the deep sea, whether it's fishing, mining, or indirectly through climate change, and we're impacting these animals, these refuges, these oases, these important pieces of ocean health. We humans are having an effect on them, and so it's so important that we go out there now so that we can best understand them, so we can best protect them in the future.